Welcome to Womanhood GFF, God, Friends, and Family. We're going to start our Bible study here with Peter, uh, Scared to Courageous. Uh, if you have your Bible, have your cup of coffee, glass of water, tea, soda, whatever it is that uh, you would like, or sit back and relax, and open your Bibles to the book of Mark, and we're going to begin reading in verses 27 and go through verses 31, so not... Not a lot of reading, but if you'll bear with me, uh, we will read that. We have some other scripture we're going to make reference to, but we're going to actually take the time to sit and read these uh, four verses. And so if you will turn your Bible to uh, Mark chapter 14, and we will begin in verse 27. And Jesus saith unto them, them he's talking to his disciples. All ye shall be offended because of me this night, for it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered. But after that I am risen, I will go before you unto Galilee. But Peter said unto him, and this is where we're going to be really referring to Peter a lot in this in this uh, particular study. And Peter said unto him, he said unto Jesus, Although all shall be offended, everyone else, I mean these other guys here, these other disciples, you know, they, they may be offended, yet will not I. Verse 30, And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this day, even in this night, before the cock crow twice, thou shalt deny me thrice. And then Peter, I think his feelings were hurt. He was very defensive. And Peter said in verse 31, But he spake the more vehemently, If I should die with thee, I will not deny thee in any way. Likewise, also said they all. This is a very interesting story because unlike Peter, we have the scripture to know what ended up happening. And here, uh, Jesus knows what's fixing to happen. He knows that he's fixing to be uh, betrayed. He knows he's fixing to be arrested. He knows he's fixing to go through trial. He knows he's fixing to die on a cross. He knows this is what's fixing to happen. And he told them, he said, you know, there's something's going to be happening. You guys are going to be offended. Offended doesn't just mean that their, their feelings were hurt. And in that Strong's Concordance, I told you in the previous tape that, that uh, if you had it, you look up the word offended. And it means to be to be scattered or to be, um, Shane, let me see if I can find it here. It means uh, scandalized, entrapped, to trip up, stumble, enticed to sin. Jesus said, every single one of you are going gonna to trip. You're going you're, you're, you're to stumble. You're going to be enticed to sin. You're going to... You're gonna deny me. You're gonna you're gonna run for your life. You're gonna you're gonna scatter. And Peter's like, well, hey man, you know, you may say I'm gonna do, but I you don't understand how I'm not gonna do it. I mean, he was so upset that Jesus would say, yes, you will. That the Bible says in verse thirty one that he said vehemently. And when you look that word up, that's the word that means, as soon as I find that one, that he was just so determined to uh, hold his ground that there is no way that he would uh, uh, betray him or be discouraged and and, and leave. 
It means to be fixed in one position, fixed in one place or in one time or in a state. In other words, he's not changing his opinion. I said I won't deny you. I mean I won't. I mean, Peter was, he was serious. As best as he knew his own heart, he said, I, I, I mean it, Jesus. I mean, why are you saying that I'm going to run off and be scared? Why, why are you saying that I'm going to be enticed to sin? Why, why are you saying that I'm going to run, I'm going to scatter? No, I will not. I'm going to be there to the end. In fact, I'm going to, if you die, I'm dying. And the other disciples were all around, and next thing you know, they're like, yeah, us too. Because it ended with saying, likewise, also said they all. They all just said, you know, no, we're in this thing together. Lord, we love you. We're not going to let anybody messing around with you. And we're, we're going to stay together. I mean, we're going to be tight. <laughs> Peter was so sure that he would never scatter away from Jesus, that he determined that he would die with Jesus until something happened. And you find out what happened as you continue reading through this chapter and the next chapter. In the verses 32 through verses 42, Jesus goes to a garden. And while he's there, he tells the disciples that you guys just stay here while I pray. But Peter, James, and John, I want you to come with me. Sometimes we call that his inner circle. You, you guys come over here with me, and uh, I'm going to pray. And Jesus, the Bible says he just fell down on the ground. And he began to pray. And we're not going to emphasize the particulars of what Jesus prayed in this particular study because we're emphasizing Peter, not so much Jesus right now. Not to disrespect or overlook the importance of that part, but that's just not where our focus is at this moment. Jesus gets back up, and the disciples, Peter, James, and John, they were all asleep. I mean, what happened to that, we're in this thing together business? What is this that, I mean, we love you. We're going to be there. We will, we're going to hang with you. You can count on us, man. Asleep. And Jesus went back to pray, and he went back to them, and they were still sleeping, and finally, you know, he had to wake them up. But something happened to where that Jesus, uh, Peter, excuse me, had, had gone to such extreme to the point that he was just determined to stand his ground. I'm sure his voice was, was sharp in his teeth were probably clenched as he just dared Jesus to accuse him of ever backing away from standing beside him. And we're going to stop at that point and we're going to see what else could have happened that made Peter go from being so determined to stand his spot, to not move, to not shake, to not be scared off, but yet he was. You come back and listen to the next tape. If you have any questions, please leave a comment underneath the video. Or you can email me at womanhoodgff at yahoo.com. Go to my website at www.womanhoodgff.blogspot.com. God bless you, and you have a great day.